Welcome to Primal Shooter. Today we have a slingshot trigger. Guys, welcome back to Primal Shooter. I really apologize, it's been a long time since our last video. I've been super, super busy at work and my other channels that I have to work with. And guys, how you guys ever know, uh, pretty much the accuracy down the range with the slingshot is how you release pretty much your pouches, you know? So depends how you hold the pouch is how accurate this thing is gonna be. So most likely you wanna hold the pouch just like that. It doesn't really matter how you pinch, it's the matter about it's gotta be evenly right here. So that uh, pretty much ammunition flies straight instead of going up, going down or to the sides. And the last thing, you know, pretty much is your pull. You have to pull straight and when you pull straight, that's how it goes. But some people have problems with the pinch, like me, that it takes me a long time, uh, you know, to learn how to pinch uh, the pouch in the right way. Uh, you can pinch it this way, sideways, sides to sides. So for example, I used to pinch pretty much like this, thumb on top and the index on the side. Uh, now I'm learning straight so i notice i'm getting more uh accuracy down the range uh practicing like that but uh pretty much what i got today guys it's foreseen and to test if this trigger really really works you can pick one up from right around 50 bucks on amazon and guys they are expensive i think the cheapest one that i see is like probably 20 bucks but it's a different setting this one is the most that I hear is recommended and let's see how that goes so down the range it's right around roughly 15 yards almost 17 yards somewhere around there I got my silhouettes down the, down the range it's a uh, the ram it's a steel ram and a piggy so let's see if we can knock them down using this and then we're gonna do it by hand normally and then have something else that I want to show you at the end so pretty much I'm gonna give you a little bit of introduction on how to use it and it's very simple it's like a pistol uh, you know a revolver on the back just pull the pouch and, and pull this and this thing with pressure supposed to open uh, let me show you the ammunition that we're gonna be using which is a quarter inch steel balls uh, or bearings whatever you want to call it uh, what I do is pretty much keep in mind you have to center the ammunition the right way and this is what you're gonna do pretty much let me put it on the side so the ammunition is already on the pouch you're gonna slide it in and then you have to try to fix it to make it even and let's see what kind of courtesy we can have down the range let's see if I can ever hit one super high I'm gonna try three or four shots to see super super high do the same thing again nope now I went to the side I'm doing the same thing over and over trying to see if we can get one of them I'm aiming to the big one which is the ram and see if I can get it make sure you lock them sometimes they stay open nope third one nothing I'm trying to hit and it's not happening lock it And the last one, we didn't hit it. So guys, now let's try with 
bare hands doing the nice. original way. First try, let's see if we can hit it with the slingshot on my finger now, only using the pouches on my finger. Got it, first one, first try. So pretty much guys, just to let you know, this is not gonna make you any more accurate. Uh, it's just like a gimmick, it's pretty much, or let's say, something fun to use you can try so many different ways i see people holding it this way i try this way and it didn't work out pretty well either it's pretty much the same thing so you pay a lot of money for something like this and guys i want to show you something different i'm gonna put this on the side something that you won't believe it does the same thing i'm pretty much about the same maybe more accurate and it's this paper clips one of those that you can buy at the dollar tree probably let's say or dollar store 20 for one dollar this thing does the same thing so guys don't waste your money on those kind of stuff learn with your fingers or if you want to try try this all right now let's try this and see if this really work or pretty much get you close to the target so same process make sure your bands are good inspecting every time put it on the center and keep in mind there are many differences don't buy a super little one and don't buy a big one buy the one that is about two fingers together that size okay then we're gonna hold it like this fingers on the back then you're ready and pretty much it does the same thing okay keep it in mind it's not gonna help way too much uh, you need to practice a lot uh, I've been practicing with the trigger for right around two weeks trying to get any better or trying to find the best way to use it and guys trust me I didn't get any better that was right next to it but remember, these kind of stuff, they're not accurate because they kind of slide. Uh, they will help in the way that your fingers are not gonna kinda, you know, hurt at the end of the day. But after all, pretty much your fingers is the best way to do it. Right next to it. And one more. Got it. You guys see it right there on target. So guys, this is going to help you more. It's going to cost you less than a dollar and you can get many of them and you see the result. Guys, think about before you spend money because all of those things, they're gimmicks sometimes and they don't really help you that much to be any better. Guys, I got a lot more coming up. I got a slingshot rifle. So guys, hope that thing, you know, give us a better accuracy down the range. Thank you. See you in the next one.